Let's look at the brush mode in 3D Coats UV tools. It works the same way whether you are working on your UVs inside the Retopo workspace or whether you are working on a paint mesh in the UV workspace. Let's say I want to tweak the shape of a UV shell or UV island. The globally uniform unwrapping method here does a very good job, but sometimes, especially when you have subdivided a certain section of your mesh, it can be more difficult to get a shape that is more in line with what you see in a viewport. Let me click on this one, and you'll see when I click ABF++, it's very distorted. Same thing with globally uniform. Let me zoom in, and I'll control click this island so that I can see the UVs on this a bit better. Let me select that mesh layer. So the UV pattern is relatively uniform. It's just the shape here is very undesirable. So let's try a different method here. I'll select that shell and select LSCM. Now that is a little bit more usable, but it's still rather curved when in the viewport it's more rectangular in shape. Now why would I want to change it? In this case, if you're trying to pack a lot of different islands or shells into the same UV space, you probably want it to be a little bit more neatly shaped so that you can fit them in there a little bit more efficiently. The best tool to reshape this shell is our brush while in brush mode. Just right click and drag right to zoom in. If you drag left, it'll zoom out. Now, before I use the brush mode, I want to mention up front, you want to do a little bit of planning or decide ahead of time whether or not you want to affect just this UV shell and not affect others. This one is far enough away from this other shell where it really doesn't matter because I don't plan on my brush spilling over onto this object. But there are times where your object is bumping up against another UV shell. I'll control click here to deselect. And if I now switch to brush mode, I can use my bracket keys to increase my brush size, or if I have my cursor inside the mesh, right click and drag to the right, it will increase the brush size. So let's click and drag, and you can see it's affecting everything under my brush, and that includes other shells. That may be what you want in some situations, but in this case it's not. So I'll undo. I'll go back to Islands mode, select that one, now back to brush mode. I'll right click inside the shell and drag right to increase the brush size, then proceed to sculpt or reshape this island with my brush. Let's go to Islands mode. I'll move that away. Control click, or I could just click on this one and then move it into place. Same thing with the brush. You can also use the brush mode to tweak trouble spots like corners of the eyelids or the mouth. You can also use it to smooth the area under your brush by holding down the shift key. Let's zoom in here. And right click inside the object, drag left to scale the brush down. So let's make this kind of ununiform here. You can smooth or relax locally using the brush. Hold down the shift key. And you can see the little green profile that tells you you're smoothing. And this works throughout the entire application when you hold the shift key. So you can see it's relaxing directly under your brush and nowhere else. So if you were in islands mode and you click on relax, it's going to do that same function, but to the entire island or shell. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Relax. All right, so that's going to conclude this overview of the brush mode when editing UVs in 3D Coat. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.